Welcome to Cam Look, your twice weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. for a new discussion and a new artwork. My name is Sue. I'm a volunteer docent at the Art Museum. Today, in honor of our nation's 247th birthday, I'd like to share with you this print titled Fourth of July Still Life, designed by the artist Audrey Flack. This color photo screen print is based off of the actual oil painting created by the artist in 1975. In order to understand what we're seeing here, it would probably help to know that this style of painting was known as photorealism. This was a trend that rose in popularity in the 1960s where artists would carefully reproduce photographic images in paint. These paintings would feature the same deep colors, shiny surfaces, and reflections of the photograph. This artist, Audrey Flack, arranged her own figures, took her own photographs, and then recreated the work as a painting. She was especially known for reproducing the shiny reflective surfaces we see here. She's even chosen to use a mirror as the horizontal surface upon which all items were placed to increase the shine and reflection. Photorealists were known for choosing everyday items as their subject matter. In this work, Fourth of July Still Life, Flack has chosen items from her childhood that she has associated with the identity of America and its independent spirit. Some of the items in this print that I think I can identify are a figure of Ulysses S. Grant, the commanding general who led the Union Army, Army to victory in America's Civil War, a figure of a British soldier reminding us of our freedom and liberty over England, a tea box from the Lions Tea Company, which certainly is another symbol of America's freedom over England, a nod to the Boston Tea Party and no taxation without representation, the Liberty Bell, another iconic symbol of America's independence. It is believed that the bell was rung at the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence in Philadelphia, a bald eagle, a national symbol of strength, loyal, loyalty, protection, and pride, a portrait of George Washington, our first president and commonly referred to as the father of our country. And finally, multiple pieces of paraphernalia related to 4th of July celebrations, such as the American flag, firecrackers, crepe paper, and the trumpet of a marching band. When asked about this work, we are lucky enough to have a quote from the artist herself. She said, I grew up on the streets of New York and all the objects represented in the work came out of my American childhood. I have chosen these objects because they evoke memories, feelings, sounds, and colors of America. The brash sound of a trumpet, the tinsel of a shiny firecracker, and the kitsch appeal of a dime store Liberty Bell. I have tried to create an absolutely American still life. So two questions for you today as we close out the conversation. When you think of a still life, is this the type of work that you think of? I don't know about you, but I typically think of a bowl filled with fruit or a vase of flowers. But this work by Audrey Flack allows me to broaden my definition of what a still life might contain. And secondly, let's talk about your 4th of July celebration. What would be part of your absolutely American still life? Would it involve any of the items that you've seen here? What else would you add to reflect your own personal holiday celebrations? I'd love to see your answers in the comments below. <music>